Hi, again. We are back with another Eat and Chill. A week late, but we're here. A week late, but we are here <laughs> in, in full effect. So we read you guys' comments. We found one that we kind of like. Yeah, somebody had commented they wanted the next Eat and Chill to be on like our first year of our relationship, mm -hmm. which we both thought was a good one because like we mentioned a lot to you guys, the communication that we have and the level that we're at in our relationship didn't come overnight. Yeah. And we haven't always been like this, so oh. I thought that was a dope one. Yeah, our first year was like rough. Yeah, we'll get into it, but we have to pray. And should we show them our food first? No, okay, let's just show them first. Okay, you go first. All right, so I'm trying to be a vegetarian and it's tough, but I'm working at it and I'm doing pretty well. So this is my homemade vegetarian burrito I'm not gonna tell you. there it is it's focusing that's a homemade burrito that's vegetarian there's no meat in there and then that's meatless pasta and some garlic bread. garlic bread and I'm not on that trend so I have some spicy ch chicken o-rings from Walmart they're really fire same pasta and what's it called garlic bread and then he knew that I wanted my ranch in there so that's what we have tonight Lord bless the food they're about to see for nurse for our bodies. We thank you for the channel. We thank you for the viewers. We thank you for the people. We thank you for good times and good memories. These are another blessings we ask in your name. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm interested to hear your point of view first of our first year. Oh. What is your... It was a learning experience for me. Being able to look back and self-evaluate, I kind of sucked. Like, I was faithful, but I was still in like the childish, boyish mentality. I didn't like talking about my feelings. Mm, okay. Boy. Okay. Okay. Didn't know how to handle whenever she got upset. I didn't really know how to handle her in general. Um, I saw that. That's the cocky stare. I didn't say anything. I didn't necessarily know how to handle her. Uh, and I didn't know how to handle myself in a relationship. So, I mean, aside from like not cheating. So it's like, okay. What's an example? Um, whenever there was a dispute. I would like, in my head, I'm like, she needs time to cool off. Oh, I forgot that used to be a big yeah. issue. <laughs> I was like, she needs time to cool off. You know, she'll, she'll be all right. I'll go check on her later. When really she wanted me to come after her immediately. But I didn't know that because I'm used to dealing with my homeboy. So I'm like, if they're mad, all right, go be mad somewhere. But when you're in a relationship, that's not what you do. Gentlemen, don't give her time to think. <laughs> <laughs> Cause when she by herself, mm. she get to thinking. And then when you get there, she got a whole thesis, body, intro, cited sources, and a conclusion waiting for you. So don't. At the door. Don't do that. What's another? That was, what What did you have that in the category? That was an immature thing or yeah. that was a lack of under? It's lack of understanding and how to handle myself. What's an immature um, example? I didn't necessarily stand up for her like I should have. I didn't know how to really conduct myself in those types of situations. I wasn't good with confrontation. I still am working on confrontation stuff. Just because I'm a very docile person when it comes to like, stuff doesn't get to me. It doesn't get to me. And sometimes I have to like, remember that my sensitivity level is totally different from her sensitivity level. Mm -hmm. And so when like stuff that doesn't push my buttons, I would just glaze over like, oh, that's not even an issue, like should be okay. She wasn't okay in a lot of those situations and she was looking for me to step in. But I've gotten a way better feel on that. Like, way better feel, so. All right, you eat, because I don't want your food no. to get cold. I'll go. I feel like our first year, about myself, I learned that my shit stank. Because for the most part, I'm a bomb-ass girlfriend. I just have glitches, which I didn't feel like I was um, aware of when we first started dating. And I feel like I've always been the better significant other in relationships to other people when I was with other people. But when I got with you, who's my equal, you kind of held a mirror to my face. Like, I probably was still doing the same things that we have issues with now or that we had with then. But because with the old boyfriends, their stuff was like way worse. We were going through a lot of other stuff because of their actions. Mm -hmm. I feel like my negatives weren't as prevalent does that make sense yeah they got pushed to the back burner yeah yeah but when i got with you 
both our issues basically equaled out. The things that we lacked and stuff in the relationship or the traits and qualities that we needed to improve on balanced each other's out. Whereas with the ex-boyfriends, it was like this. So I never knew how bad my shit stank until I got with someone who balanced me out. What else did I learn about myself in the first year? Mm. I learned that I need, yearn, crave, affection, attention, and protection. I feel like I've always carried this very like strong mentality about myself. Like I can hold my own whether I'm getting into it with someone or just whatever. Mm -hmm. But I feel like that first year it taught me even if I can do that by myself or for myself, I need for my significant other to do that for me too. Yeah. Which ties into what Josh was saying about there were some times where he didn't like protect me or my heart and I feel like a, I told him this before too I feel like a lot of guys correlate protecting a girl with physical so like if girls are jumping me or if a boy tries me in the wrong way or something like I'm that knocking them he'll, yeah right he'll protect mm -hmm. <laughs> he'll protect me in the physical sense but protection is an all-around thing like mentally physically emotionally and spiritually protect that and I didn't feel protected in that first year I never knew how much it like affected me or bothered me we found out though. Dang, babe. Well, I guess the floor is yours. If I could rate you for my first year. Okay, let's switch it. I can give you a B. At the time, we could have worked on, but now we have worked on them. But um, I think people have heard this before. But when you used to get mad, like you don't want to talk to me, you would text me your entire problem. Yeah. And that would just like irk me because I was like in the same room. In the same room. The hall. In the same room. And then um I didn't realize that this little lady had a temper. And I don't know, maybe I just overlooked the fact that you That yeah, energy wasn't directed towards you. Yeah, maybe I was just on like the, the laughing end, watching you <laughs> snap on somebody else. That's probably what it was. Yeah. <laughs> Cause normally like that energy would be directed at somebody else. I wasn't the, the one to get under her skin. Um, at first, now I am the one. When the energy is directed my way, I saw a different side of it. Like, oh, she's really upset. Is attitude and temper the same thing? Yeah. But my attitudes are silent. I don't talk. Yeah, she goes cold. Temper? Energies are real, if y'all don't understand that. Um, grow up a little bit and you'll start realizing it for yourself. She has like this energy that can fill a room and whether she's happy, sad, mad, you know, like the whole room can feel it. It's just her personality is that big. And I think that's kind of both of us, which is why whenever we're beefing, like every, our friends know. Our friends can feel it mm. before they. We don't play that shit at all. Yeah. We can't. I wouldn't understand how to fix it because I had never been in that situation. Which is where we had a lot of problems, and then we ended up bickering. Cause I oh god, that's something in oh. our first year. Oh. We bickered almost every day. It was so bad. We almost broke up a couple of times before it. If it wasn't oh, left, it. it was right. If it wasn't up, it was down. And it was over petty stuff like petty. His his shirt, he might think it's orange. I think it's peach. And we would go back, back and forth and forth. But that's where I learned a lot about myself. Cause I like to debate, mm. but um, I like real intellectual debates or just like regular fun. You like debates. going back and forth. Yeah, I like that. I didn't know I did. Um, I like the back and forth. Cause I used to do it with my friends all the time. We would go back and forth, clown each other. We go back and forth debating on topics, um, whole bunch of stuff. But at the same time, can't necessarily do that all the time with the girlfriend literally mentally and emotionally drained me to the point where I didn't want like I didn't see any good in the relationship we had like we damn near had finals for our relationship or we had like midterms we did there good were, way of putting it we had sections y'all every semester we had like big fight at least two mm. I think we had two both semesters that first I feel like fights sound so aggressive. We don't even be yelling at each other or cussing at each other. It's for the just record. emotions are high. Emotion, it's a high emotional fight. Yeah, and it's more like we 
feeling some type of way to the max. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if that <laughs> makes any sense. It's not like we're sitting back and forth like, F you. Yeah. F you, get out. <laughs> not how we are. Don't ever come back. <laughs> no, we don't fight like that. You know, you said you learned you were immature that year, but I did too. I learned I was too. And I still am. We both still are. We're still growing, but like, yeah. when I get mad at you, and I can hold that for a day or two, Wah! that's immature as shit. Ah. <laughs> I used to do that year one. And it was like, I kept thinking to myself, I was like, is it really this deep? That's why I always thought, like, if you caught an attitude, I was like, I set off a bomb. I would go tell my boys, like, look, I'm in the doghouse for at least two days, guys. Did that gun incident happen in year one? Yeah. I feel like I realized through that situation that, it, like, it's not all about me when you're in a relationship. Brief uh, run through. Yeah. Brief, because y'all don't know what happened. Um, we were at a, a pregame to a party. And then I told her to go ahead with her friends to the party because I was waiting on my boys. Oh, well, my brother, really. Um, and so she left and they were at the party. Then as me and my brother and another one of my teammates, Ray, were walking down the street, a uh, car pulls up. Some dude gets out of the car, um, walks up to a sketch like, and then pulls a gun on us, basically. Just pulls a gun on us. Points it at us and asks where we're from, and then we just take off immediately. Like, no questions asked. We ran for our lives um, right back to the house. But then, that whole time, I'm freaking out because that was a very different experience. I've did never... you call me or did you come in person to we, me and told me that? We came in person. So, okay. like, we ran away and then we ran back to the house that we were at for the pregame party. We, like, locked ourselves in the house. Um, waited for a second and then I was like, oh my gosh, the rest of my teammates are coming too. So they're going to be scrambling. Um, or like the dude is going to like see them, maybe try them. So I was like, oh snap. So then we ran, jetted down to the party. Um, where I was. Where she was. Jetted down to the party. I basically like, real brief, just ran it past her. Like, I just got a gun pulled out on me. I'm going back to check on the boys. Yo, stay here. And I told him I wanted to go with him. And I was like, no. I didn't want to be, I didn't want to go, I don't know. And and immediately I was like, no, I'm not bringing But you him. drove. So yeah. why couldn't I row back with you? Because the danger was back there. And you were away from it. That's why in my head, like, this was me finally doing what I need to do and protecting you. I told her to stay at the party. And then. That didn't sit right with me. Didn't sit right with her. But I let it happen. She had no choice. But. What you mean? As I'm going back, like, I'm not worried about my phone or anything like that, but she's blowing up my phone. Because it had been, like, 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. And from my perspective, I was worried that they were going to run into the person again. And when your boyfriend tell you his life was almost taken, and then he goes back to where his life was almost taken, my job was tipsy. That was just a random night. Random. After a track meet or something, my teammates wanted to do it. But anyway, I was a little bit tipsy, so my emotions were high, higher than they would have been if I was sober, but I still would have, my emotions still would have been high. But yeah, I was just flabbergasted that he ran back into danger. And I feel like a lot of guys do that. It Josh wasn't puts that himself was... in the center of danger I all wasn't... the time, and it makes me so mad. I wasn't trying to put myself in I know what you were trying to do but from my perspective that's yeah. how I felt yeah so and so I blew up his phone and stuff he wasn't answering so I'm starting to like cry and panic and all that good stuff mind you I'm at this point I got my friends and I warned them and then I ended up calling the police and I'm explaining to the police what happened and this is when she's blowing me up I'm like I don't have time to up. I'm talking to the police trying to figure out who this guy is um yada 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 so yeah so time and time and time went past still didn't get a call back from him or nor he did he answer my call so i ended up i didn't walk back by myself i walked back to campus with some teammates and josh i guess you were on your way back to the party as we were walking that way we were like right by campus by the time you were driving mm -hmm. and he was he was like calling my name blah, 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 and i was just ignoring the crap out of him i just kept walking me. so basically we get back to the house the pregame house mm -hmm. or whatever and i forgot what you tried to tell me he apologized and stuff and told me what he was doing and blah blah yeah, blah yeah i was talking to police and then at that what point what did i say to you 
I know I started crying. Yeah, no, when I, I came anger. in, when I came in, you were dang near crying. I was trying to apologize to you, and I was... Oh, I was mad. She was mad, but I was confused. I was like, my life was almost taken, like, I, I should be freaking out right now, you know? Like, if anything. Um, and then it kind of blew me because then she started getting mad at me. I was like, wait, why? Why didn't you pick up the phone? Why didn't you call me back? Why didn't you let me know you were okay? That's but what I, I was feeling. I fully explained what was going on to her before I had left the party. No, yeah. you didn't fully explain It nothing. was brief, but I mean, it was enough. It wasn't brief nothing, babe. All you said was you got a gun pulled out on you and you were going to go back to tell people. I had to go back and warn people. And bottom line, I ended up walking out the house after kind of snapping on him and, told me and I told to. him I texted him a little bit later after he didn't come after me because that's what I expected back then he pissed me off and I just thought he should run after me and try to make up with me even though he had went through it what he went through I told y'all I'm very immature and you know that's a big situation I still regret to this day anyway yeah I left the house left him there and then I ended up texting him when he didn't show up to the dorm after my dorm room after a while saying that he could sleep by himself that night and then, mm. I feel like that was the, the not like one of the biggest impacts on our relationship. Yep, and at that point, I was through, y'all. He was. I was through. We didn't talk the whole next day. Well, yeah, we did. It was We talked the next day, but... It was like... Later in the day. Like six. And I had a tendency that first year to push you into corners, too. Mm-hmm. Actually, not even just the first year. I'm just learning to not do that Man. anymore. But I used to, like... Push him in the corners, kind of hinting at breaking up, and I just saw no wrong in like me doing no wrong in that situation. Yeah. I thought it was all his fault. And then she was, she would, yeah. When we say that she was putting me in the corner, she would basically just be like, you an know, ultimatum or something. Yeah, no, it wasn't ultimatum. No, it wasn't ultimatum. It was more so like, why do you want to be in this relationship? Are you sure you you're like willing to handle me or, or like? If you don't change this, then yeah, I don't want to be this, stuff then like that. I don't that. want to be with you or. I should. I want somebody that's gonna like take care of me. Okay. Yeah. I sent him some type of text message that was one of those type of things, and he ended up saying, "All right, then, like we're done." Yeah. I you know that aspect when your heart like drops or like you just, you just. <laughs> I couldn't believe he told me that. I was so through. I said, like, "Are you serious?" He said, "Yeah." Like I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> she had taken me all that and then finally I was like, yeah, maybe we shouldn't. Yeah, yeah. I said, well, maybe we shouldn't be together. And then he said, maybe we shouldn't. Yeah, maybe we and shouldn't. And I'm up here expecting him to say, no, I want to be with you. Like, Which I had said in the past. Crazy. But yeah, that wasn't the moment for me to be playing victim, pretty mm -hmm. much. And then He right, was already on edge. Uh, yeah. All bad. And it did, like, what made me even more mad is that it was like, dang near... A full 24 hours and she still didn't want to apologize for how the night went she was still like it was still my fault well, I'm to in year three and a half I'm just now learning to apologize so <laughs> that's what I'm saying like we went through a lot we've grown a oh lot. we've grown a lot yeah that was yeah that was a very interesting situation and I was like at I think I really did. I th I was just ready. I was like, "You're ready. You were ready." Yeah. So why did you end up? Cause you called. I did. I called him and I kind of started crying. Me. And I no, was like, "Are you serious?" No, not just started crying. You were. What the? <laughs> you a lie, Josh. You were. No, I didn't. You no, were. I didn't. <laughs> you a lie. You were crying hard. I wasn't crying hard. Was I? Yes. You were like, why would you want to do that? Like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? You're like, we can work this out. I didn't I say like, we can work it out. I, I, you're making me sound. No, so. you definitely did. Because I was sitting outside pacing back and forth. Like, I'm tired of being put in corners. Like, I'm just sick of it. Like, you and all, Josh every time, rarely ever gets mad, y'all. Especially at me. So, like, I knew I had messed up when he sent that text. I knew I did. And as soon as he sent it, I called. I said, like, are you serious? <laughs> that I don't remember what I said though and I remember I think I just said something to the effect of I guess I didn't let you break up with me I was just like no yeah no she didn't it's like no let's just talk it out when and I know get part, back. Of, part of me didn't want to because I didn't hang up normally like if I you know I still had hope for her goodness but I was through 
in that I moment. Because had she had called and it just been another argument, it really would have been the coffin. Like, Josh and Easy would have been done. Oh, I would have been that crazy. I'm not that crazy. Yeah, that would have been Josh and Easy finito right there. Um, but luckily she, she, it hit home real quick. It did. It hit home real quick that it, like, You don't realize how much somebody means to you until they threaten, like, okay, I'm out your life. And I was like, what? What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> so that was, yeah, that was my wrongdoing. My number one, I think my biggest wrongdoing in year one. Oh, but you were so sweet, which is, that's the crazy thing about Josh, too, because after all that, after me pissing me, after me pissing him off the way I did, and him, like, even wanting to break up with me, got to the point where he to break up with me, you brought me back a Snickers. I did. From work that day. And kissed me, I think you kissed me on the forehead, brought me a Snickers, and you laid in the bed, and you are ready to talk. It just amazed me how you could be so sweet and selfless when I was the one that genuinely messed up in that situation. We probably have more examples we could have came up with, but it's hot as crap in this room. It's really hot. We turn off the fan so you guys can hear us. Yeah, I feel like we gave them a good viewpoint into good our idea. first year. Yeah, good idea of our first year. It was lit, y'all. It was nothing but sunshine and rainbows, like every happy ending story always portrays. All these YouTube couples, you see, it's just perfection. Nothing all the time. but pure bliss and beauty. Our first year, all we did was blow kisses and write little love notes all day long. We're honestly the best we've ever been right now. Yeah, conscious, On all levels. consciously aware of one our flaws, two our goods, and then three each other's wants and needs. Sunshine and rainbows. That's all we have for you guys, though. I think that was pretty good. I think it was decent. If you have any other topics you'd like us to touch on, please comment them below for the next Eat and Chill. By the way, you guys, this man right here. Starting. He started his own YouTube channel. Starting. It's that, like. He I, started it. It's ready for I you to subscribe to. This is my challenge for you guys. Right. Get him to over a thousand subscribers. What did you call it? The trifecta. So yeah. I have my own channel, we have our channel, he has his channel. So yeah, subscribe, do everything, support us please, we It'll really appreciate lit. it. It'll be lit. I feel like the channel, I, I don't want to go into detail, but I just got a lot of- It's gonna be lit, he has great ideas. Honestly. I got some cool things planned, yeah. so. So be on the lookout for that, subscribe to Just Wait. I'll leave, a, we can leave a link in the description box below to his channel, so you can just click that and subscribe and then you're good to know. And hit the notification bell while you're there. Why not? Why wouldn't Why you not? want to be notified? Again? That'd be awesome. I'm clicking it, you know. But that's it. That's it. I'm good. That's it, and it's lit. Peace. Love. <laughs>